Hi, boys and girls. Today I'm going to read you a story called From, Butter From Caterpillar to Butterfly. It's by Deborah Hildegram and Bari Wesson. Let's get started. Today, a caterpillar came into our classroom in a jar. It was eating eight. It was eating green leaves and it was climbing and wiggling. This tiny caterpillar is going to change. It will change into a beautiful, I bet you can't guess what it is. If you said butterfly, you're right. Caterpillars usually turn into butterflies outdoors. They live in gardens and meadows and yards, but we will watch our caterpillar change into a butterfly right here in our classroom. This change is called a metamorphosis. There they are. They're looking at their butterfly in the jar. Our caterpillar started as a tiny egg. The mother butterfly laid the egg on a leaf. Right there, you see it? When the caterpillar hatched out of the egg, it was hungry. It ate its way out of its own egg shell. Then it started to eat green leaves right away. Caterpillar's job is to eat and eat and eat so they can grow and grow and grow. So there you get to see the book. There they are, the eating little eating our little eating machines. Each day when we come to school, we will look at our caterpillar. Each day it is getting bigger. There it is, it's getting bigger. Our skin grows with us, but a caterpillar skin does not grow. When the caterpillar gets too big for its skin, the skin splits down its back. The caterpillar crawls right out of its own skin. It has new skin underneath. This is called molting. Our caterpillar will molt four or five times. You could kind of see in the picture where it's like a zipper comes out of new skin. After many days, our caterpillar is finished growing. It is much bigger than it for. It is much bigger when it first came to school. It is almost as big as my finger now. You see, almost as big. Our caterpillar is making a special house. First, it makes a button of silk, right here at the top. It uses this button to hang upside down from a twig. When the molting, when it molts for the last time, instead of a new skin, this time there is a hard shell. This shell is called a chrysalis. Our caterpillar will stay inside of this chrysalis for a long time, just like ours. See how's it starting to hang there? It's in the jar. That's what ours are going to do too. Each day, the chrysalis looks the same. We can't see anything happening, but inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar is changing. Will our caterpillar ever turn into a butterfly? Will it ever come out of its chrysalis? We can hardly wait, but we do. We wait, and we wait, and we wait. Still in the jar. Then one day during snack time, somebody shouts, Look! And we all rush to see. The chrysalis is cracking. We see a head, a body, and the wings. It is a butterfly. There it is. The tiny caterpillar who came to school in a jar turned into a painted lady butterfly, and we saw it happen. Our butterfly is damp and cramped. It hangs on the chrysalis well. Its wings flap, 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 and blood pumps into its wings. The wings strengthen, straighten out and dry. Soon our butterfly will be ready to fly. There it is. It's getting ready. Our butterfly cannot stay in the jar. It needs to be out with the flowers and the grass and the trees and other butterflies. It is a warm spring day. We, I put my finger into the jar. The butterfly sits on my finger, I pull it out and our butterfly flies away free. I feel a little sad, but also a little happy. Goodbye, little butterfly. <clears throat> we watch the butterfly land on a flower. 
It will sip the nectar through a long coil tube called a pro bo bo boas. <laughs> pro boas. It's like a straw and that helps to suck that nectar out. Maybe it's a female butterfly. Someday she will lay an egg on a leaf. I know just what will happen then. The, that egg will hatch into a caterpillar and that caterpillar will turn into a beautiful butterfly. And these are different cat butterflies that you could see in our neighborhood. There's a monarch, which is very popular in the United States. The black swallow. I've seen those around. I've seen some cabbage white flower uh, butterflies. The dog face butterfly. I don't think I've seen this one. Pretty, pretty sure I've seen this common blue. I've seen this one around. And then this one, this buckeye, I really don't think I've seen that, that one before. So we'll keep an eye out to see if we can find any of these butterflies flying around in our garden. Well, that's the end. That's the butterfly, the caterpillar to a butterfly. And before I leave, I want to show you our caterpillars. They are growing. Let's see if you can see them. Can you see them? There's a little bit of a glare. I don't know how to take that glare off of there. They're getting pretty big. Can you see? I'm gonna put it to the, there, there you go. They're getting big. I'll measure them again, the, the, my ruler. I think they're starting to get ready to go up to the top and make that little bit of silk so they could go into their chrysalis. So let's measure, I'm gonna measure one. That one right there. I want to say it's almost two inches. So it's almost as long as this. There's one and two. There's my finger. So it's almost as long as my, my pinky finger. Look at your pinky finger. That's how about how big as our caterpillar is. Well, that's it, boys and girls. I'll keep you posted on these caterpillars, these painted lady caterpillars that we have here. And we'll see what happens next week. Bye.